Hey guys, it's Monica. I am going to share with you a couple of things that I have received, some things that I have bought and absolutely love. And maybe, you know, there's still some time between now and Christmas. If you are at all like me, I'm a last minute holiday shopper. I am that typical person that a couple of days before the holidays, I'm running to the store. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do that. So I'm, I'm very much last minute when it comes to the holidays. But there's a couple of things that I got that I really, really liked and I want to share them with you in this video. And also at the tail end of the video, I'll give you an update on my dad because I know many of you have asked. So stay tuned if you're interested in some of the cool things I got. Okay guys, so first of all, I guess what I should tell you is, and I always, I'm not really good at this because I always kind of forget to tell you what's on my face and many of you ask afterwards. So on my skin right now for a foundation, aside from obviously my skincare, is my YSL All Hours Foundation. This is a foundation that was actually sent to me quite a while ago originally from the Octoly Network. I really love it. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful foundation. I use this more on special occasions. It's also a perfect foundation for filming because I think it makes your skin look really nice. So this is the foundation I have on today. Most of the time when I'm filming, I have my Estee Lauder foundation on or my CYO that I'm trying to finish. I'm going to try to get really good on mentioning what I have on in the beginning of the video, unless it's a vlog style video where you have many different video clips. So I have this on my face and then so I am trying to get better and trying to do a little bit more contouring, but I kind of really mess up on that a lot. But on my face today, I am using the Viseart palette. This was this has a highlighter, it has a blush, and it has a contour. And I'm actually using all three of these on my face. The contour, I went with my contour brush right here, a little bit on my nose, a little bit on my high forehead. And then I just dabbed the blush on. And then kind of with my It Cosmetics, I have one of those really nice It Cosmetics brushes for your face. I kind of blended it or tried to blend it all in. And then at the very end, I just dabbed this highlighter just a little bit here, a little bit here. And hopefully I didn't do too much of the highlighter. But that's really all that I have on my skin. But on my lips, I have my NYX. This is the lip liner the, between this and the Avon lip liner is what I use the most and this is what I actually have lined my lips with I liner girl by I kind of I really like this because it's sort of a neutral shade for me it's not too bright not too pink more of a mauvier look or a wine look type of thing so I line my lips I go a little bit over my lips because I have thin lips and then what I put on today, and this is, I love these lippies. I have to tell you, I love these lippies. This is independent. I'm going to try to show you, and I'm hoping that that picks up. So this is the shade independent, and that's what I have on my lips. This lipstick, let me tell you, I have discovered Color the World. Now, if you are a last minute shopper and you're still looking for it, an idea, they have the most amazing lip packages. I bought this, I want to say, maybe three weeks ago. And I've been using, since it arrived, I've been using the lipsticks almost every day. I got the package that has the, it's got the, it's got three different colors. And it also has a like a lip treatment and moisturize. This is really 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 nice I really like this but let me show you the shades that I got so I have independent on and when I got I have independent on which is this one and then when I got independent when I got these I thought oh my gosh these are all some of these are going to be so dark I'm not going to be able to do it but the one that I've actually worn the most is called empowered although I think independent is the prettiest shade Empowered, when I looked at this, I said I would never be able to pull that off. This one closest right here um, to my fingers is Empowered. I thought I would never be able to pull that off because it looked so dark. And I'm like going, oh my gosh. 
so yeah it is dark it is empowered I do like it I've actually worn it the most and the one that I've worn the least is flawless and flawless is really pretty and I'm gonna put that one and I've it's actually the most pink at least in on my skin it's the third one here flawless I love these lipsticks I love these lipsticks so I have the three lipsticks and then I have the conditioner the moisturizer oh my gosh are they lovely anyways color the world let me just tell you a little bit about color these are hand poured natural lipsticks and the ingredients are all excellent ingredients you have to check them out on their website because the stuff is just really beautiful it's all natural it's vegan it's cruelty cruelty free indie company and it's I believe in North Carolina let me see if I have the address here I don't um, North Carolina or South Carolina I don't know which is one of the Carolinas I always get them confused anyways I saw these ads all over Facebook and they are supposed to not bleed into your lip lines and I thought wow isn't that like amazing if that would be true well I will tell you that is true at least on my lips I love these so much that when and you know they have a couple of different sets I'll list the set that I got but I would repurchase these hands down because even the darkest shade that I thought was going to be mm, not good has been fabulous on me and none of them have bled now can I sit here and tell you that they're going to last 24 hours on your lips no not at all uh, they're not going to be like lasting if you eat you're going to have to be touching up but you know I have to touch up all the time and I like my lips to be more moist than dry so these have been creamy beautiful color long lasting now again long lasting to me can be two hours right I've had my coffee I've had a few other things and I don't have to touch up but if I had to touch up I wouldn't care I love these products these are so super awesome it's also I think a biodegradable cardboard so they're very very conscious of the environment hand poured beautiful creamy lipsticks I I'm telling you they're worth every penny I paid for them. This is not sponsored. They did not send this to me. They don't know me from Adam, but I just love these lippies. So I'm thinking if you want to get somebody a, a package of really nice lipsticks, think about doing that because I, I just think it was an amazing set. The, the other thing I want to tell you, and I think this is absolutely a great idea for the holidays too. If you like something extra special like something made in France or something just not quite your run-of-the-mill every day then Mademoiselle Provence which is a pro these products are made in France just might be what you're looking for now full disclosure this was sent to me via the Octoly network so when I went on the Octoly network and I saw this gift pack and I read the ingredients and I said oh I really like this again independent a woman owned company it's owned by two women I just thought this was really fabulous so they put together this gift set and they have a lot more other products you can check them out on their website they are again cruelty free they're made they're vegan they're vegan friendly I should say they're um, all their products are made in France with natural formulas really pretty presentation when I got it so this again was sent to me via the Octoly network from the company and what I got in there was I thought this was the cutest little thing I got this really pretty oh if this is gonna catch it I might have to include a picture but really pretty you can hardly see it there's a beautiful woman sitting Mademoiselle Provence made in France it's a makeup bag or a bag that you might want to put your, your hand care, skin care. Anyways, they have the most amazing, and most of the ingredients and everything is listed in French, so I can't read it for you. But they this is a body cream, and this is really, I don't want to put it on because I got all the samples of my, I have to wash that off. But this is a, a really nice, nice body cream. I really like this. I put this all over my arms. It's beautiful. And then they have a really, really gorgeous, and this is a high intensity hand cream and again this is cruelty free or and vegan you can check it out it's mademoisellprovence.com so in the in the gift set in this little box 
which I think is perfect for the holidays. And they always have sales going on. So I'm going to list all this information for you below in the in the box. But this was sent to me complimentary from the company via the Octoly Network. And I, I just think it's a great, lovely Christmas or holiday gift set that you could give someone if someone wants a little bit of luxury or you want something that was made in France. And this cream is really nice. I really, I like it. I like it a real lot. Wanted to mention that because I know the holidays are coming. I got as a friend's gift, the most amazing thing from one of my friends. It wasn't really technically a Christmas gift, but I'm showing it because I think you can still get this. If you are looking to buy a gift for somebody for the holidays, this is a really cute gift set. It's actually sent to me from Sheila Life with Life. Oh my God, simply Sheila, formerly Life with Lily. And this is the Two Faced Christmas Cookie House Party. It came with a bunch of different things. I'll show you everything on the back. And it it's just it was just a really pretty. It's not a Christmas gift. We're, we're all laughing at each other. It's not not Christmas gifts. But anyways, it came with this really pretty palette. I haven't used it yet. But I, I really like these colors. I think these colors are really pretty. They look right up my alley. I like the fact that there's some glitters and, or I should say shimmers. And the mattes look really nice. And to me, a lot of these, these are shades that would work for me. So I really like this. And then also along with it came this Tis the Season to a Sparkle. So this is really cool because if you want to add a little bit of sparkle to your eyes, it also came with this really nice little, it's like a highlight froster, frosted um, contour. I haven't, I haven't dug into that yet either, but it actually comes, it's a really cool gift set. So you can still get this at Sephora, I believe. Great opportunity. I got it as a friend's gift, not as a Christmas gift, but I love it. So one other thing I wanted to say to you guys, I don't know how late it is getting on this video. I recently went to the cosmetic company store and I had really, until I got this friend's gift from Sheila, I really had not paid much attention to Too Faced. I'd never really tried anything Too Faced. But when I went to the cosmetic company store, I saw this Too Faced palette. And this is an anniversary palette. And I, oh my gosh, and it says celebrating 20 years of being fabulous. How cool is that? So this probably came out in last, you know, sometime last year, obviously. So I don't know if you can still get it. I think you can. But anyways, they had a pile of this in the cosmetic company store where I go to. And what it did, and I want to make sure I kind of cover the mirror so I don't blind you. It has the top row are colors that they had out in 1998. And the bottom row are the colors in 2018. Anyways, I have been, <laughs> I have this all over my eyes right now. I don't know if you can see, but I have been playing with this palette. I really think, I think this is amazing. You know, like my lipsticks normally, I'm a layered person. So I start out with a couple of different layers, but this palette is amazing. And I think if you can get this, if you have a cosmetic company store near you, you can check Too Faced. I just don't know if you can still get it. But if you can get this at a cosmetic company store near you, I thought this would be a fabulous, a fabulous gift. And it, the presentation is so pretty. The case is so pretty with the pink sparkly, the gold writing. You know, if you can um, get super excited about a presentation, this really did excite me. Anyways, I got, I got like so, I got such a kick out of the blue shimmer up at the top. I thought this was the most prettiest thing. Of course, today I used the pinks and the purples. I used this this, this, and then I used a little bit of the white. I used everything from 2000, from 1998 on the top. I did use the one color, I think it's GG of 2018 on my movable lid, and then I lightened it up. And then in my outer V, I went into with the darker color from one of my other palettes in, um, in my outer V, but I thought that was like amazing. I really loved it. So what a cool, 
I thought this was super cool. And I would never have found this if it wasn't that I got the friendship gift from Sheila with the Too Faced palettes. And she sent me a bunch of other things in there uh, as well. Masks and all sorts of stuff like that. I thought, holy mackerel, it's so cool. So thank you, Sheila, for sending me this non-Christmas gift. That made me find that palette. And I think when I do my favorites, my highlights and lowlights of 2019, you know, we'll see what ends up making it. But I really like that. And other thing I got, and I have, I had no idea this was coming. And I'd never heard of Emma Hardy. And this is their, EH is their logo. And this was their anniversary bag. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to superimpose a picture of what I got in here. I didn't even know I was getting this. This was quite a surprise to me. And the products, I looked them up on their website. Their products sound awesome. So I haven't started to use them yet, but I absolutely will. And I will definitely report back and I'll definitely let you guys know how much I like them. But I'm excited about this. Thank you so much for to Emma Hardy dot com for sending me this PR package. I'm like thrilled. So so the other two things I wanted to mention to you really quick is I was sent these eye masks from Active Layer and I know that most recently a very detailed video was done by Kristen321, Miss Kristen321. I'll make sure I link that video down below. She did an amazing video on this and she had been using this active layer. She's been trying it out. She showed on camera the demo of the eye patches. And the other two people that I know that have been using this, one is Marlene Fab and Glam, and the other one is Natalie the Beauty Diva. Both ladies have been using this product and both ladies really like it. So I was had the opportunity to give this a try as well. And I really like it a lot. So what you do is it comes with this little spritz of water and the water is it's a little tiny bottle like this and just spray you need to make sure that you have that your skin is clean before you put the eye patch on each package contains two eye patches you peel off the plastic covering and you make it so the blue part stays on the outside you put it on super super wet you press it in then and you make sure that the white side is what you're pressing into your skin and the blue is on the outside and you can see when it gets really dark you can see that it's getting wet and that's what it needs and then I did the other side I did mine much like Kristen did hers I did one put it on sprayed the other tapped it in put it on you're only supposed to keep it on like five or or ten seconds or something of that nature and then I went and I just gently I didn't want to I wanted to make sure it was well moisturized because I didn't want to do any tugging or peeling and that's what I was really worried about. So it would tug and peel that it would pull my skin. It didn't do that. I was just able to gently lift it off and everything, the product had completely sunk into the deeper layers, went way down and my skin felt good. I took the other one off, same thing. I could feel a tightening feeling when I first started to apply it. After I was done that, I followed up with my regular eye treatment. So in other words, my eye creams, whatever eye cream I would put on, whether it was the Pure um, or, or my It Cosmetics, my eye serum from It Cosmetics. So I just put my moisturizer on around my eyes. I don't know if I needed to do that. I felt really good. I could immediately, now this is a week long process. And I, I think after the first week of using this, then you would reuse it again, you know, like continuing maybe once a week. I'm not too sure. I'd have to really follow up on that. But this really penetrates deeper into the dermis and gives you and brings your product deeply into your dermis, which I was, I really like this. So this was sent to me complimentary, not sponsored, not being paid, but I like this product. These eye patches are expensive. However, I think the results are worth it. I, I do. I think the results are worth it. I've had an extremely stressful time. This month has been, actually since October 1st, my life has been extremely stressful. And my eyes sometimes are the first thing that gives me away. These are just like, just, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. They're really beautiful. And, I, and thank you so much for sending this to me to try. I think this has been fabulous. 
I'm going to price it out a little bit more in detail, but I'm thinking this is a great treatment, especially if you have a lot of wrinkles and you want to be able to get some product to go in deeper into your skin. I really like it. And the, the next thing I wanted to tell you is I talked about the Gen, Gen Amber. Gen Amber had sent me a bunch of different things in PR, which I totally appreciate. Anyways, uh, one of the things that she had sent me was this coffee gamage. Now, I love gamages. I love putting a gamage on. I love, you know, I use an apple gamage. I use a whole bunch of different types of gamages that I've had over the course of time because I feel it does bring your dry, take your dry skin off. This, I kind of use more as an exfoliation. It's got very fine. I'm going to take some out. It's very fine. I don't know if you can, well going to be but I'll make a mess it's got very fine little granulars and you can't really see it but very fine little granulars of of like coffee what you do on your clean washed skin is you put this on like a layer all over your skin and unlike a gamage where you just start to gently rub you can leave this on for like 10 minutes if you want or five depending on your time frame and then you can massage it and then you can rinse it off and holy cow is my skin after I take this off my skin feels so good I use this in the morning so this is the perfect complimentary product for me in the morning because it complements everything I'm doing I wash my face I pat my face dry, I put this on, I put a nice little layer of it on, not super thick, but enough you can see that I have it on, you can see a little brown dotty thingies and all that stuff, and then I'll do, I'll do whatever and then I'll wash it off. And then when I've washed it off, then I normally will go in for my red light therapy on my trophy skin, which I absolutely love doing every morning. And that's my procedure. I, I really like that morning procedure. I don't use it any other time but in the morning, so I suppose you could do it at night as well. It just, for me, it works best in my morning routine because by that time, I put on my serums and my CBD oil. My canvas is really clean, really smooth, and perfect setting for my makeup. So I really love this a lot, and this was sent to me originally from Gin Amber as a part of a PR package with a couple of other products that I will talk about. But this has got to be hands down my best gamage that I've ever had. I really like this a lot. Really like this a lot. Works perfect for me. So, super excited about my active layer for my eyes my gamage for my skin and a couple of these thing, these gifts, these items that were sent to me from Octoly and the company for great gift ideas. I just think that they're awesome. And uh, it's too face palette. <laughs> what do you think guys? Anyways, um, update on my dad. I, uh, my dad is back in the hospital. I brought him in yesterday my husband and I um, we brought him in yesterday morning and I was really hoping he would come home today but that's not happening so he's in the hospital today I don't quite know how long this is being filmed on Sunday um, December 15th and I'm hoping to premiere this tonight if I get it set up right away but my my dad he's not really doing well so um, he's in the hospital I'm hoping that he comes home soon and, um, yeah, just send your prayers, guys. I really would appreciate it. Thank you all so much. Oh, I should also tell you, because everyone always says, on my head today is my Raquel Welch, and this is Editor's Pick in the color Shaded Cappuccino. I like this wig a lot. Um, I do wear a lot of wigs on my videos. I sometimes wear a topper on my video. I sometimes wear hair extensions from Irresistible Me. I wear a lot of different hair enhancements. And then many times I have my own natural hair. It's just a little bit more of a warmer type of a, a color and more of a weedy warmer color than this is a very cool shade, shade of cappuccino. And my hair is thinner than obviously these wigs. But I'm also gonna have a little a wig chat video coming up because I was sort of, Marlene Fab and Glam had talked about her wigs and she had got a number of questions. So I'm gonna do that video for you guys as well so you can see it, as well as my favorites of 2019. So I'm sure this is super long. <laughs> so I'm gonna shut up. Thank you guys so much for watching and please continue prayers for my dad. I truly appreciate it. Bye guys.